I used to run multinational companies. I've been a Royal Marine officer and all of those jobs had a reason to be. But I've never been in a place where you get out of bed every day and you know that you're gonna make a difference to somebody's lives, a positive difference. Blythe Tallship was set up to change lives and change attitudes in the community. Probably around about 2008 when we had a bit of a recession. This area in particular really struggled. And I think it was from that early days of his enthusiasm got everybody else enthused to say, well, yeah, this could happen. We uh, identified that the Antarctic landmass had been discovered by a ship from Blythe that was built here and a skipper from Blythe back in 1819. And uh, so we've gone back to those original skills that would be needed from boat building to Gansey knitting to sea shanty singing when you're actually on the boat. All those skills are part of what we do on this project, including sailing the actual ship itself. And we did some research to show that our volunteers were getting a lot out of it, from self-actualization to feeling more confident to actually being healthier, not having to go to the doctor as often. And we realized that this was something that could be really important to us. And this whole project has been the catalyst for all this that you can see around here. We've got hotels, we've got houses, we've got new buildings and a STEM education centre going there. I attended uh, some sessions at the job centre and there was a person who came down from Blythe Tall Ship, did a presentation and immediately I was bought into to the idea. Because these sort of heritage skills are starting to go by the wayside, if it wasn't for places the likes of Blythe Tall Ship to be able to train people in those heritage skills, I feel like this art would probably just die off eventually. And I think with Clive sort of being at the front there, he's the one that enables us to be able to do these great things here. He's always had this drive from other jobs that he's had, and I think that's been the main strength. We sailed this vessel across from Denmark. We had these ropes pinging, we had head blocks flying all over the place, we had engine breakdowns, but we got through because of that leadership quality that he's got. We set out with an agenda uh, which was all about people transformation using maritime heritage skills. The best partner we found was the National Lottery Heritage Fund. It's at the heart of what we've been doing for 12 years and it's helped us expand and grow and expand and grow. Every time we do a project we're reaching new people 